Hi, I am Will Knauer, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this video is part of your My Museum Classroom Kit. In this segment, we will be looking at Untitled by Ruth Asawa. As we look together, it will be helpful for you to have paper and something to write with as you respond to prompts in the video. Please pause the video and get those things now if you need to. This video is jam-packed with fun information and activities, so feel free to pause or rewind the video as many times as you need to. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to let our eyes wander all over it to gather useful details. What do you notice? Take a moment and make a short list of some of the things that you see. Hanging from the ceiling, we see four forms below one another from top to bottom in this sculpture. Inside three of those forms are smaller shapes, and inside two of those are still smaller forms. Altogether, there are ten rounded shapes in this artwork. These forms are considered biomorphic, meaning they look like shapes seen in nature and in living organisms. Asawa called her technique looped wire, and wanted us to pay attention to shapes that are inside and outside at the same time. Maybe you noticed that this sculpture is transparent and that we can see through all the shapes. This transparency may have led you to notice the shadows, which are exact replicas of the sculpture itself that are projected onto the wall. Next, you may have asked what this is made from. Then you might have wondered how Asawa made this artwork. These are good questions. Ruth Asawa created this large hanging sculpture, it's more than seven feet tall, by weaving iron wire. She used only a dowel rod, which is just a small peg, to roll the wire into tiny loops and then used her hands to weave them together. The sculpture looks like it has been crocheted, doesn't it? Asawa actually used a crochet hook when she needed to make a repair to her sculptures. Otherwise, all the weaving was done completely by hand, with no tools. Even though the artwork contains ten different shapes, each form is made from the same single roll of wire. That means she worked carefully to make the forms turn inside on themselves and back out again. Imagine how hard it would be to make this. She was inspired by baskets she had seen fishermen weaving and using while on a trip in Mexico. Asawa grew up on a farm in California, and during her chores she would often stop to draw in the dirt with her bare toes or with sticks. As an adult, she realized she was recreating those drawings on paper and then later using wire. Because of these associations with her childhood, her work has often been described as containing both interior and exterior, lines and volumes, past and future. Asawa made hundreds of artworks during a career that spanned more than 50 years. Thank you for watching. And now we'll have a chance to speak with our guest artist, Hisaya Yale. Hisaya, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's great to be here with you. My name is Hisae Yale. I'm a guest community artist. You have been inspired by Ruth Asawa to create your own art. What do you find inspiring about Ruth Asawa and her artwork? I still remember when I saw Asawa's sculpture first time. I was very impressed by the beauty of the object and how her work creates silence in the space. It was like a beautiful work of Japanese calligraphy. After I saw her work the first time, I started to do some research and found out she was a second generation Japanese American. Her early life was very difficult because of the Great Depression and World War II, but she never stopped creating art and believing in the importance of art for everyone. 
I'm Japanese and moved here in 2007. It has sometimes been difficult for me living outside of Japan as an artist because of my English ability. Sometimes when I run into difficult situations, I am reminded of her beautiful sculpture's work and her work encourages me to express myself through my art and continue working on. I would like to share with you one of my favorite words from Asawa. An artist is not special. An artist is an ordinary person who can take ordinary things and make them special. What do you enjoy about using fabric and string to create art with? How is it different than using paint? Some people may think they always need specific art materials, such as oil paintings, special clay, or professional paper for creating art. But I believe we can create art from any materials around us. For example, drawing is not made by only pencils and paper. We may be able to draw lines in the space using threads of yarn or strings of old cloth. Also, painting is not made by only using paint and brushes. We may be able to paint on the ground using different colored soil, clay, leaves, and stones. When I create art, I always think about relationship between my idea and the materials for the work. I also think about why I need certain materials for a work until I have clear reason to use them. Once I use thread of wash paper to make fishing net to represent net in the water. This was because creating the washi paper requires a lot of water. And I thought using wash paper thread implied the existence of that water and added more meaning to the work. Using ordinary materials for a work is always challenging, but there are so many discoveries to be made during the creative process. I hope students enjoy the process and make their own discoveries while they are creating art using the materials in the art kit. Last year was very difficult for many people. How do you think creating art can help us get through hard times? I think one of the most important rules of creating art is finding beauty in our life and sharing it with others. Asawa found a lot of beautiful objects and moments in her garden and shared them through her art with many people. She observed insects and plants very carefully to see the details, like how the sunlight shines through an insect wings or how water drops from a needle of a pine tree while she was watering in her garden. Although now is a very difficult time for everybody, I believe we are able to find a lot of beauty around us. Finding beauty in our life not only helps us to appreciate people and things around us, but also these discoveries may guide, guide us to new creative inspiration. Thank you so much for your time, Hisae. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Now, please feel free to go to the art making video that is related to Untitled by Ruth Asawa. Remember to keep in mind what you have learned here as you have fun making some interesting and wonderful art.